Okay, good evening, everyone. I'm Pritima Koshal from ICT Delhi chapter. I extend a very warm welcome to all our guests to this very special evening, leadership chat on the topic, cultivating growth and leadership mindset. Uh, we have a high powered panel, which comprises of Dr. VP Singh, Chairman Asia Coaching Network. Oh, uh, he will be moderating the session also. Um, Mr. Pradeep Malik, former MD, Watsila, India. And uh, we have uh, with us Mr. Vimal Malhotra, who's the Vice President, Stalite uh, Tech, and Mr. Aditya Sareen, Head HR Data Powers. So um, uh, once again, uh, you know, I, on behalf of Delhi Chapter, ISTD, and Asia Coaching Network, NIPM, um, uh, Delhi NCR chapter. Uh, I once again welcome all the panel members and all our guests. Uh, I would now request Mr. Mukesh Jain, Chairman, ISTD Delhi chapter, to give his opening remarks. Mr. Mukesh Jain. Thank you, Prithamaji. Namaskar and good evening, friends. I, on behalf of Management Committee of ISTD Delhi chapter and Executive Committee of NIPM Delhi NCR chapter, and Governing Council of Asia Coaching Network welcome you all to this very important and interesting leadership chat on cultivating growth and learning mindset. I also welcome Dr. VP Singh, moderator of the uh, evening with eminent panelists, Shri Pradeep Malik, Shri Vimal Malhotra and Shri Aditya Sareen. I also welcome our past national presidents, our chapter chairman, our NC members, veteran and seniors, and our fellow members and students. I wish you all a great evening and wonderful weekend. Namaskar, over to Yashwan. Namaskar, a very warm greetings to everyone and thank you everyone for joining this exciting session. Today we have eminent leaders that are featuring for this uh, special leadership chat. Uh, let's move to the speaker's uh, slide. Uh, Hello, can we uh, go to Dr. Deepak Singh first, right? Yes, I now have the privilege of uh, uh, introducing uh, our moderator for the panel discussion, Dr. Virendra Pratap Singh, uh, who is the founder and chairman of Asia Coaching Network and advisor at Dr. K. N. Modi University. Uh, Dr. Singh uh, is basically an executive and life coach uh, from the International Coach Federation USA and member mentor pool Everwise USA as well. Uh, he has a you know a very illustrious career you know spanning across various like, organizations, and uh, he is also currently the advisor and distinguished professor with uh, to Indian private universities, uh, which is Jaipur Institute of Management at Lucknow, Noida, Indore, and Jaipur, and uh, also uh, he has been you know uh, teaching, coaching, and mentoring students uh, periodically at New Gen IMs. Thank you so much, uh, Dr. Vipin Singh, sir, for joining the event. We are indeed grateful to you. For, uh, for joining for this session. Uh, can we move to the, our first panel speaker? Uh, yes, uh, so our first panel speaker for the day happens to be uh, Mr. Pradeep Malik, sir, who is the former MD of Watsila, India. Sri Pradeep Malik, uh, uh, sir, has received his B.Tech in Electric Engineering from IIT Madras in 1965. And uh, he was also known as you know, uh, Sri Rai during his IIT days. Uh, and uh, he has been the chairman of Confederation of Indian Industries, uh, which is CII, and also the Western Region in the year 2000 uh, to 2001. He has also been the, uh, has held the presidentship of Bombay Chamber of Commerce and Industry, which is BCCI. Uh, he's a firm believer in the innate strengths and capabilities of people. Uh, Sri Malik has been champion in nurturing people-centric policies uh, in Watsala India Limited. Thank you so much, sir, uh, for joining the event. Uh, we are indeed grateful to you for this event. Thank you. Uh, next we have uh, is Mr. Bimal Malhotra ji, uh, who is the Vice President at Starlight Technology, and he is also the CHRO at Avanstrat in Japan. Uh, he's a very seasoned professional in the corporate uh, HR with over 20 years of experience. He has a very strong exposure in global HR practices and systems. At present, uh, he's on the international assignment as CHRO uh, of the Avon Street uh, in Vedanta Group uh, company, uh, wherein he's managing the people function for uh, the organization, having its headquartered in Tokyo, Japan. He's a firm believer that HR is not an enabling role, 
was the most strategic business role and therefore one of the closest ally for CEOs. So thank you so much, uh, uh, Bimal sir, for your uh, uh, association uh, for the panel. Um, we are indeed grateful to you for the association. Thank you so much. Uh, let's move to our final speaker. Yes, uh, so we have our final speaker uh, of the panel, Mr. Aritya Sharin sir, who is the Head Capability and Leadership Development uh, and Campus and Cardo Management HR at Tata Power. He has an illustrious you know, career. Uh, he's an analyst of IIM Ahmedabad, actually Jamshedpur, IMT Ghaziabad, uh, and ITWA as well. And, and he has a career you know, spanning almost two and a half decades uh, and worked with you know, several organizations, very reputed organizations, like Tata Power, Reliance Industries, GMR Group, Standard Chartered Bank, etc. Uh, he, uh, he believes uh, in the innate capabilities of customer service excellence and believes in creating delight for all his internal and external stakeholders. And he has worked with colleagues of various nationalities during uh, his stint at you know, Dubai in UAE. Uh, he's one of the few professionals with professional qualifications in HR, marketing, and finance, thus giving him an edge in the business insight. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Aditya Sarinji, uh, for your kind inspiration to the event. Uh, uh, we are indeed grateful to all the panel speakers and moderators for uh, for kindly assisting, and uh, my best wishes for a great, great event. And we look forward to learn from each one of you. Thank you so much, and over to Dr. Deepak Singh sir for uh, taking the session ahead. Thank you so much. Thank you, Yeshwan. Thank you. Thank you very much for introducing all of us. Uh, good evening, uh, everyone uh, who is on this panel, as well as audience. Uh, thank you very much, uh, NIPM, ISTD, Asian, for uh, co-hosting this event on such a powerful subject, cultivating growth and learning mindset. Uh, before we get going, I think it will be in fitness of things that we should uh, set the context uh aaj ki jo uh, sangoshthi hai uska paripeksh ko thoda sa samajhne ki avashyakta hai and at the very beginning i would like to make uh, three submissions uh, if i can uh, use the word postulates hypothesis and I think these uh, submissions, postulates, and hypotheses will set the tone for today's discussion. Uh, the first hypothesis or postulate is every human interaction is an opportunity to learn or teach. Every human interaction is an opportunity to either learn or teach, and sometimes it is both. And similarly, every human interaction is also an opportunity to receive therapy or give therapy, and sometimes it is both. The second proposition or postulate is as follows, that every leader is a capability builder. Every leader is a coach, is a teacher, is a mentor in one way or another. And building on that, every capability leader, every capability builder rather, is also a leader. Similarly, every parent is a capability builder. Every Parent is a teacher, coach, mentor, capability builder. So that's the second postulate or hypothesis we are presenting today. Thirdly, we would like to suggest that growth mindset and learning mindset, they go together. Growth mindset firmly believes that intelligence and talent can be learned and practiced. It is something through effort we can develop our talent and intelligence. While the fixed mindset is that intelligence and talent is innate and unchangeable. These are the three postulates. 
And we also like to add that it is the growth mindset which unleashes the powerful passion for learning. So if there is a growth mindset, both with the learner as well as the teacher, with the subordinate as well as the boss, with the children as well as the parent, then this learning process in, is unleashed. So these are the three postulates, hypothesis, assumptions, are, or submissions. They form the core or the context of today's discussion. I'm fortunate that I have three brilliant, illustrious panelists with me. And each one of them will definitely add significant value because they bring forth tremendous amount of academic and professional experience and wisdom along with them. We have uh, five streams of discussion. We have five discussion threads, if I can call it. And these five discussion threads will be like Panch Tattva or Panch Amrit, hopefully. I will be asking these five threads with each one of them and hopefully at the end we will have a lot more clarity in terms of how do we cultivate growth and learning mindset, not only in corporate, in every organization, in every social group in which we operate. And as I said at the very beginning, that every leader is a capability builder. Every capability builder is a leader. And in my definition of capability builder, everybody comes, whether it's a coach, teacher, or mentor. Before we get going, I would like, I will request all of my three panelists to uh, make a short one minute uh, opening remark or elevator pitch statement in terms of what comes to their mind when they hear this concept or the word or the phraseology called cultivating learning and growth mindset. We will start with Pradeep followed by Aditya and Vimal. So Pradeep, if you can share your initial thoughts and comments and idea, what comes to your mind when we talk about cultivating growth and learning mindset? Uh, thank you, Dr. Singh. Uh, it's a very tough act to follow when you have to follow Dr. Bhuti Singh's uh, three postulates that he has uh, articulated so eloquently and so beautifully. Uh, I'm really, I'm bold, uh, Dr. Singh. But here's what I, I'd like to add in a very simplistic manner. Um, I loved reading on our webinar group chat today and yesterday, more than once, um, a statement like, looking forward to learning this evening. When I read that again and again, looking forward to learning this evening, I was touched that people have such a beautiful learning mindset. That itself is a, is a great opener. I always remind myself, and these words ring in my ears all the time, and these are the words, I'll just request you to bear with me. Gratitude, gratitude for all we receive. Gratitude for the fact that I'm with you all. Second, gratefulness. Gratefulness for so many reasons. I mean, how Leela found me, I don't know. I would never have come on this platform. Childlike curiosity. You observe a child and you observe the curiosity in the child. Why do we lose that? Can we maintain that curiosity lifelong? Ask questions and wonderment. The wonderment at the beautiful universe that we live in. And be always in that learning mode. Always in the learning mode. Now for that, I personally say, that I need to open the windows of my mind, open the doors of my mind, and for, like a parachute, a mind also works only when it is open. So I, before coming to this session, I emptied my glass so that I can fill it up again. I made room in my mind so that I can absorb 
some of the postulants that Dr. Singh and others are going to be making. It is really a great opportunity to be with you for a total learning experience. Thank you, Dr. Singh. Thank you, Pradeep. Thank you. If Aditya, you can come in and if you can share your initial comments on cultivating learning and growth mindset. Thank what you. comes to your mind? Thank you, Dr. Singh, and good evening, everybody. Thank you for having me here. Uh, if uh, you made it difficult for Pradeep, it's even difficult for me now because it's you and Pradeep and I'm following suit. So I think I'm, I'm you know, here with a difficult task. However, uh, when I was thinking about this topic, Dr. Singh and other panelists and colleagues here, uh, I thought this is actually the essence of life. If you look at life, it's all about learning and growing. And I think they actually come in a sequence. You cultivate a learning mindset and then you cultivate a growth mindset because learning actually takes you to growth. There is no growth without learning. On the second height, if you see, when you learn is when actually you gain perspectives. And when we talk about aspects of people gaining you know, maturity, gaining experience, getting education, it's all about getting perspectives. And therefore, in my mind, if anybody was to live a good life or a successful life, it's all about learning. And therefore, learning will enable you to grow. And as you grow, you can perhaps, you know, illuminate lives of people all, all, all across. So I think uh, uh, in, a, in a quick summary, Dr. Singh, I think it, all that we do in life, as you mentioned in one of your postulate, is that we learn from every interaction. Now, every interaction has a capability to make us learn. It's on us of how much do we learn. And I think very aptly picked up the topic of cultivating. Now, these don't come innately to people. You know, People generally are happy to operate from a fixed mindset. I have reached where I have reached. And therefore, I can now tell. I don't need to learn. But if you cultivate the growth mindset of embracing challenges, willingness to adapt, seek from criticism or critique, if I may call it, ask for feedback, be willing to make changes in your own personality, help people all along the way. I think you're actually doing nothing but cultivating a learning and a growth mindset. Back to you, sir. Thanks. Thanks, Adita. Those are powerful, powerful comments and observations. Uh, I would go to Vimal now, and I would like Vimal to build on what Pradeep and uh, uh, Aditya have said so far, and also bring in parents and teachers also. Yeah. Uh, sure, thank you. Thank you, everyone, and thank you, Dr. Singh. Uh, so as Pradeep uh, Ji uh, and uh, Aditya, they both talked about. So as we go to the next step, we will talk about the same topic, ke upar bolte jana, utna hota jata hai. but uh, nevertheless, uh, I think uh, the right part you said, it's not just about the corporate. Uh, I think if we look at life and the nature of our own life, हमारी शुरुआती ग्रोथ से होती है अगर हम देखें तो किसी भी चीज को अगर देखते हैं तो ये हमारी नियति है या दिस इज आवर बेसिक वे दैट वी हैव टू ग्रो और वही चीज एक बच्चा जब होता है वो डिपेंडेंट रहता है बट हर इंटरेक्शन से सीखता है पेरेंट्स बच्चे से सीखते हैं इसी प्रकार से uh, जैसे हम uh, अध्यापकों से सीखते हैं uh, और उसके बाद आगे चल के कॉर्पोरेट के हर इंटरेक्शन से सीखते हैं तो आई थिंक अपना पूरा का पूरा uh, जो कल्टीवेटिंग है टुवर्ड्स लर्निंग एंड ग्रोथ माइंडसेट शायद एक पार्ट अगर देखते हैं पढ़ाव लाइफ के डिफरेंट पढ़ाव हैं uh, uh, एक बचपन है क्यूरियोसिटी रहती है सीखने की ललक रहती है uh, जिज्ञासा रहती है uh, उसके बाद का पार्ट आ जाता है कि uh, अभी अभी कुछ और सीखना है पढ़ाई में uh, और खेल कूद में I think uh, जैसे ऐसे अब किसी के लिए शायद हो सकता है फिक्स माइंडसेट की जब बात आती है तो किसी के लिए वो पढ़ाव थम जाता है फिर आगे बढ़ना होता है तो taking the feedback closing the loop PDCA I think वही पार्ट हम लोग आज इस पूरे uh, एपिसो पूरे वेबिनार के दौरान बात करेंगे कि किस तरीके से थमे देखें 
और अपने आप को बेहतर कर पाए और वही आई थिंक मूल मंत्र है पूरा का पूरा दैट आई एम अंडरस्टैंडिंग ग्रोथ एंड लर्निंग माइंडसेट का ग्रेट ग्रेट थैंक यू थैंक यू विमल आई आई लाइक टू कम बैक टू आदित्य ऑल्दो वी आर सेइंग दैट लीडर्स ग्रोथ माइंडसेट एंड यू नो दिस vulnerability i don't know very easy to say but do we see that in corporate world do we see that amongst our teachers our coaches our mentors our parents do we see that do we see this mindset that i do not know don't we invariably force our own learning even in corporate world it is the leader who pushes his you know Uh, learning you know he 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 or she pushes that this is the best way to do things this is what is happening in the school colleges universities this is the curriculum this is what you have to learn you go you don't go beyond that we are, we we do not respect the autonomy the freedom uh, of of our learners of our subordinates it is said that uh growth and learning mindset can come only if the leader if the teacher if the mentor is creating psychological trust and safety are they doing that is it happening in corporate world is it happening in academic world we have a lot of learning and development professional iscd is from learning and development background so is it happening is it in reality kehna bada aasan hai ki hum main nahi aata mujhe मैं सीखूंगा मैं ओपन लेकिन लीडर्स क्या कर रहे हैं दिखा रहे हैं प्रोफेसर कर रहे हैं दिखा रहे हैं ऐसा हो रहा है ये साइकोलॉजिकल सेफ्टी है हम कर पा रहे हैं इसके बारे में आपके क्या थॉट्स यहाँ देते हैं देन वी विल कम टू बी मल योर थॉट्स जी डॉक्टर साहब आई थिंक इट्स अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट जो आपने अभी हाईलाइट किया है हम लोगों को बचपन से ट्रेन किया जाता है टू टॉक अबाउट सक्सेस टू टॉक अबाउट आउटकम टू टू टॉक अबाउट द इवेंचुअलिटी we are not trained to enjoy the process we are not trained to say that what have i gained in the process everybody right from school sir if i were to go back to my school and then college and all the uh, you know the minor major accomplishments in the academic and professional career hum log hamesha baat karte hain kya mila and kya mila for us is as i mentioned the outcome which means degree mila what is the marks that you got How many people you kept aside and you you know became a gold medalist and so on and so forth. But ham log chahiye ap parents ki baat kijiyega. I am a father of a 21 year old girl. Chahiye ap uh, uh, you know uh, teachers ki baat karega. Ya ap leadership leaders ki baat karega. We are not from the from day one cultivating the aspect of the process. That how many perspectives have you gained? Forget about the outcome because if you gain perspective again coming back to the topic of the discussion, Doctor Singh sir, is about learning. and learning may or may not lead to success sir in fact i was reading an article of hbr and it, was, it, it came to uh, you know notice there that it's about how much have you gained in the process than in the outcome so that is one secondly sir agar aap jaise aapne bola ki uh, do we are we vulnerable i think you know we have always been taught to be right we have never been taught uh, uh, unfortunately you know to be wrong we've never been taught to come and own up and say sorry i don't know this can you help me doctor singh to help me understand or make it simpler for me and which is why sometimes in our corporate you know career or in our even our, our family or personal life we try to have a veil in front of us ki mujhe nahi batana ki mujhe nahi pata hai and therefore you keep you know making points after points forgetting that the other person is intelligent enough to know that you don't know So I think it's important, Doctor. But a एक important बात मैं यहाँ पे आपके माध्यम से कहना चाहूँगा that unless you are vulnerable, you are not demonstrating growth mindset. Because if you are having, or uh, you know, I know it all, I have done it all, been there, and I don't need somebody to add value to me, you are not growth mindset. That's one. Two, sir. You know, we all have the race of glass. Aada bara hai ki khali hai. Ham log ye bol rahe hai ki glass refillable bhi hai. So agar wo aada bara hai. तो भी आधा और आ सकता है इफ इट्स हाफ एम टी यू नो स्टिल वी कैन पुट इट इन बट द एंटायर क्लास कैन बी टॉपल एंड रिफिल अगेन एंड वी आई नीड आई थिंक वी नीड टू कंटिन्यूसली रिफिल दैट सो आर वी टॉकिंग अबाउट दैट आई डोंट थिंक सो सर सो दैट्स दैट्स माय व्यू ऑन दैट एंड वन पॉइंट आई वांट टू मेक यू नो फॉर ऑल ऑफ अस हु आर यू नो फ्रॉम आउटसाइड द कॉर्पोरेट वर्ल्ड एंड व्हाइल इन द कॉर्पोरेट वर्ल्ड इट्स अ रैट रेस एंड एवरीबॉडी वांट्स टू बी सक्सेसफुल इन लाइफ द पीपल हु आर एक्चुअली सक्सेसफुल 
are trying to be measured by other person's yardsticks. So my success is what Dr. Singh says about me. No, it's about what I feel about myself. And therefore, if I'm if I'm not, you know, if you can actually hide things from other people, but can you not be vulnerable to yourself first? That Aditya, I don't think you're doing a good job here right now. You'll have to maybe maybe up your game. So vulnerability, I think, Dr. Singh, is the first step, sir, to cultivate or in fact even think about a growth mindset. Back to you, sir. Uh, I think it is very easy to say that you know um, uh, we we practice vulnerability. Is it easy? Is it easy? I would like you to think about it and come back to. It. It so 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 what do I do? I mean, what do I do? It's very easy to say that I should be open. I should say that I don't know. I'm ready to learn. I can. I I I partner with my subordinates. I. I, if I'm a teacher, I partner with my students. It's very easy to say, but but the system doesn't allow me, encourage me. What do I do then? So there are certain emissaries who are there in the system who will allow it for you. Now, those could be formal, informal networks that you'll have to use. And, and again, I'm maybe half the age and experience of each of the stalwarts who are here in this panel, uh, you know, right now and, and the illustrious, uh, you know, audiences here. But I think my limited capacity we'll have to start garnering support systems. We don't want to go and own up and tell your CEO that I don't know. Obviously, that's the wrong thing to do. But can you not have maybe somebody within your team or your family or a coach? I'm talking about a coaching. I'm bringing it up here, Asian coaching, like another such fora. Or can you not have a mentor? I have I have some of my ex-bosses on the panel. They were just sending me some chat messages. So can you not have somebody you can reach out to Perhaps start from the informal network and then go to the formal network is one submission. The second, we can start at home. Why can't I go and tell my wife, I'm sorry, I don't know this. Can you help me? Or why can't my wife come and tell me this? We're always trying to, you know, be Mr. Right, the perfect man or the perfect woman, and we don't own up. So I think it starts from home, sir. My my request. Yeah, yeah. Wonderful, wonderful. So I I, I, I would like to uh, Vimal to respond very quickly, very short answer. Uh, how do I, uh, you know, manage my vulnerability? How do I, I, I become aware that I, I should be vulnerable? And of course, on psychological safety, how do I create psychological safety and trust amongst my learners, my subordinates, so that they continue to learn and grow? Bring it. Quick yeah, couple of points. Easier, easier said uh, than done, to be honest. Uh, 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 <clears throat> Though uh, I think it, it varies from culture to culture because today's webinar is largely global context and the way I have, uh, you know, seen experience, particularly in these, uh, uh, you know, Asian uh, culture also, uh, at least I see the leaders, the manager, even if they don't know, they will clearly say, we don't, I don't know, I need help. Uh, so that's where, as Aditya said, okay, it starts uh, from me, from myself. And if I have a growth mindset in, and if I'm able to do a self-awareness, I'm able to do a, a, you know, a, a check, uh, then I believe somewhere it has to get started. You need friends around you who can talk to you, tell you. Uh, uh, I think it's a belief in yourself and your own skills and abilities that starts everything uh, i think hum logo ko sikhaya nahi jata hai kahin na kahin agar main uh, school time ki bolu to aap bahut badhiya hain but hum logo ke efforts jo hum baat kar rahe the ke fixed mindset aur growth mindset ye kis tarike se we can really cultivate so these are some of the ways by which teachers are taught how to cultivate uh, you know whether it's a Fixed mindset ke liye ho gaya ke nahi, tum to great ho, tum to mahan ho, to mahan ta wahi attack ke reh jati hai. Okay, okay. Haan, jabke agar hum baat kare ke, nahi, tum ne bohat badiya ki hai, tum aur behtar kar sakte ho, you know, your efforts are praised, uh, that's part of the case studies itself that I, I was thinking to talk about. And, and there was a huge change that was observed and the kind of, uh, uh, targets that these uh, uh, students had taken for themselves and kept on improving whereas the bachche jinko bola gaya aap to mahan hai bahut badhiya hai aap to born talented hai i think with time their uh, results kept on coming down because for them there was nothing more uh, to see 
Okay, wonderful, wonderful. I would like to uh, move to the next theme, and I think uh, somewhere in the chat box, Deepak Barara, our friend, old friend, uh, is also talking about uh, this McKinsey's great attrition uh, uh, research, which was carried out last year, and which said that 50 to 60 percent people were leaving, uh, and, and, and uh, even if they didn't have job. And, and they were leaving primarily because they found that the organization didn't have a sense of purpose, leadership was toxic, leadership was not, you know, uh, democratic, and, and multiple other things. And, and in the process, what the organizations and employees were doing, that they thought that people are leaving uh, primarily because of uh, compensation or work-life balance. You know, these were, and, and there was a big kind of disconnect between leaders and subordinates. So this great attrition um, syndrome which happened last year is something which throws a very interesting question or, or a, you know, kind of a uh, subject that why and how leaders, coaches can partner with subordinates, students, to define an action learning agenda. We are trying to solve issues, but many a time leaders and subordinates do not partner. That what do we do together so that this problem is resolved? Teachers and learners do not partner. Pradeep, I would like to invite and I would like you to share some of your thoughts. You have been in corporate world for a very long time. A illustrious career. I am also aware that you have had an illustrious contribution in CII Western Region as an industry leader. What do you see? Uh, why this chasm? Why this gap between leaders and subordinate in terms of designing, identifying learning agenda or growth agenda? And that happens to students and teachers also. That happens between parents and children also. This lack of partnership, this lack of working together, lack of appreciation, uh, lack of autonomy, which is not given to uh, autonomy, which is not given to subordinates or uh, students or learner. What's your take, Pradeep? I, I like what uh, Aditya said, and and basically, Dr. Singh, you also articulated it already. You know, right from childhood, as we've said. Beta ko first aana hai. We have to come first. If we don't come first, my father would make a laughing stock out of uh, of me in front of my friends. I said, "Dekho, ye, ye, Praveen first aage. Tere ko kya? In corporates, what do we do? We have to grow, grow, grow. Sometimes within our own firms, we we don't we hide this from our bosses. So, uh, I'm ashamed to say that." We, we even fudge, meaning we grow, we will invoice, we know that it's not going to be collectible. So you add, you add to your problems as you go along because this growth mindset is so uh, obsessive with us that we need to go. Now you tell me, six and a half billion people in this world, we keep wanting to grow more cars. Tata Motors wants to make more cars, everybody wants to make more. For whom, for what? Does the planet have place for all this? So is there a purpose that we look at? We have to look at a larger purpose in life. We have to look at how are we going to live on this planet and does the planet need what we are talking about? And I have found during this pandemic, um, I have found during this pandemic that actually our needs are very, very, very few, very few. But we we, uh, uh, we have collected shirts that we will never wear in this lifetime. And this is just a point. So the whole thing starts from maybe, I don't know where it starts. Is it start, starts from the corporate and growth? Or does it start from childhood where my father wanted me to come first? So, so to me, that growth is a big disconnect because, as you rightly say, there are very few people in this world uh, you are talking about a very nice uh, utopian thing. I would love what you're saying. That I wish more people like you would handhold us and ask us to think out of the box. 
I, I know one spiritual leader, he talks about these things. Why do we have to come first? What's wrong? If I come first, it means somebody else is coming second. So we breed in ourselves a hierarchy which is which is um, incestuous, which is not good. So growth, uh, you are talking about growth, but that growth doesn't have growth mindset. You know, yeah. the, the growth in which you are talking, I mean, and, and a number of cars, yeah. career growth, uh, is that a growth? I mean, uh, how, how do we get out of that? I mean, yeah. we, we, we realize that these are the challenges. Yeah. But, but as Aditya was saying that probably there is a need to go to a mentor or a coach or maybe go to your family and talk about these things, you know, find a, a safe place, a safe space where this can be discussed. Uh, what, what else comes to your mind, Pradeep? How, how do we handle it? I, I, I believe that your best coach is your wife. Uh, very often we think that now I'm in a seminar, right? She knows that I'm in a seminar, in a webinar. But I don't have to tell her the details. When I tell her later that this is what we discussed, she said, oh, I know that. And she knows a hell of a lot more than I think I know. <laughs> so I think Aditya is very right. In not, we are not trusting enough or building enough trust amongst ourselves, with our children, with our spouse, with our friends. And there is never any shame in saying, I don't know. Uh, but we have grown up in that, in that, mind, in that frame. Okay, Aditya, your turn. Come back once again. Yes, sir. I wanted to just build on what Mr. Malik said. I think he made a very good point. I, I'm just trying to understand. See, I think the objective is, is the same. The teacher or the father or the mother want you to grow and therefore the objective is growth. We as people want to grow and therefore the objective is growth. I think the route that we are taking by measuring growth by numbers and not by the process is the only problem that I see in this entire seminar statement. We all want to grow. Nobody here or none of our family or our bosses or our leaders ever say don't grow. I have yet to see a person who carries a placard saying I am not interested in growing. That, that's one. Now, if you're not interested in growing, is that you're not in the race. And therefore, everybody wants to grow. If you want to grow, how are you defining growth? Is it sharper enough to say I want to grow as a human being, as a person, or I want to grow by my bank balance or my number of cars or my square feet of my house or my wardrobe? Is that growth? I think once you understand what growth means for you and that purpose will be defined or identified jointly with a coach or a mentor, then there is a route to take, which is a learning mindset. So I think, I think, I think I was just, you know, when, when, when all of us, and that's the power of group learning, when all of us were speaking, I just, you know, kind of thought that we're actually aiming for the same outcome. It's just that perhaps each one of us are lost in the outcome that we are not enjoying the process. Okay, we are going to Bombay to Delhi in the car, but we are so focused on reaching there on time that we are not enjoying each of the drives. I think that that's my. Amal Das, our friend is saying, "Apne se baat karne ki pratha bataiye, is pratha sikhaiye ki hum apne se kaise baat kare." So that encourages me to uh, uh, nudge uh, Yashwan. Do we have one or two questions which we can quickly uh, take up and then uh, go to the next two uh, elements? Yeah, yeah, Aditya. I to ye bolunga and Mr. Amal Das is is such a revered the leader friend of mine. Apne se hi to baat karne ka best fayda because nobody will judge you. And nobody is going to is going to criticize you. If you don't talk about yourself, then who will talk about you? Because the rest of us will talk about the meaning of it. But we don't have to talk about ourselves, right? That's the only problem we all have. How do we learn? Who will learn? Who will learn? Who will learn? I think you are the people who are here. We don't have to learn from them. You will learn from them. The Asia Coaching Network, the mentors, the senior leaders, the illustrious people that are there. Because I am sure that the reason that you are all there is because you have mastered this art of growth and learning mindset. So okay. Uh, okay. Bharat, you wanted to ask? Yes, Bharat, I would like to ask a question. Bharat? Bharat, unmute yourself. Okay. Yes, Bharat. Uh, uh, Dr. Singh, thank you. Uh, I may be asking something very, very challenging, or which may you may or may not like, or others may or may not like. You know, that very title you have is Cultivating Growth and Learning Mindset. This learning mindset, learning and mindset don't go hand in hand in my view. I have a different take on that. Build on that. Build on that. Okay. Build on that. The very fact we are talking of learning, where we are talking of uh, 
unlearning also in that. Okay, okay, wonderful. Okay. When you have to un unlearn, which means you are challenging the mindsets which you are having. Okay. So called mindsets. If we talk of another mindset, then I'm stopping the next learning. Okay. So which means it it is a learning openness, learning fluidity, learning vulnerability, whatsoever it could be. But if I bring this word or this title or the reinforce subconsciously mindset, because we are trying to change the mindsets only. Okay. Okay. So okay. Many, this, in my view, I can build on this further and further and further. I have you were talking of vulnerability, openness, talking to yourself, change. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Let, 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 let. I am challenging the author. Of, oh, sorry, sir. With no, no, no. You are welcome. You are welcome. I'm challenging the person who has coined this term. I, I have coined it. Let me take responsibility. I have coined it. I will not pass it on. I have coined it. Let me ask Aditya to come and respond. Aditya, you would like to respond to what Bharat is saying. Yes, sir. This is this is a, this is a very very good point, uh, Mr. Chug. Thank you for bringing it out. Perhaps we are we are again restrained by the word mindset. And I think I think the word mindset here is like you know when you say it's a pair of scissors, but it's only one scissors. It's not a pair of scissors. Similarly, the word mindset is just a connotation. It is a learning mind. And a learning mind, as you mentioned, Mr. Chuk, I think uh, I'll take the liberty of just picking up what you said. A learning mind is an open mind. A learning mind is a willing mind. A learning mind is a mind that has nothing to mind because when you don't mind, you get learning, right? I think, <laughs> I think we just remove the word set. And I think also one important point that I think everybody here is, is thinking about is that, you know, uh, we are all... <clears throat> using the word mindset which which perhaps does not connote that the mind is set and locked unlocking the mind opening the mind channels to make it a new mindset and the mindset being dynamic is i think what the seminar's theme is <laughs> i think i think as a panelist while i value what you're saying and so you're very very senior to us all of us is that you know i think i think we have to just renew retune the mindset to ensure that it is not set at the wrong speed. Wonderful, so, wonderful, I, wonderful. Bharat, our one of our friends, he said that the meaning of MBA is that I get a lot. MBA, I get a lot. Like a person who thinks that I get a lot, I get a lot. The problem starts to be there. Like a person who becomes vulnerable and accepts that I have a mistake, this title is Dr. V.P. Singh, you have made it. Okay, 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 okay. Thank you, 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 Yashwant, कुछ और प्रश्न है क्या? Yes, there are questions, but maybe you know we can look at just one more question. This is from Manisha ji. She is asking how to change the mindset of subordinates, as many subordinates believe that their boss or leader is wrong, but in actual they are they might be right. Pradeep, आप इसको हैंडल करना चाहेंगे फिर उसके बाद आदित्य इस पे बात करेंगे. I didn't quite get Yashwant. I'm very sorry. Yashwant, so I'll just ask you again. It's from Manisha. She's asking how to change the mindset of subordinates when you know many times subordinates believe that their boss or leader is wrong, but in actual, their boss or leader might be right. I think Manisha is right. You know, because we we tell we tell a lot of things that are are leaders born or made. And then we try to mold them into that kind of typeset, but again, it is one of those set things that uh, the chef keeps talking about. I think the main thing is how can we help flourish in an open mind, and keeping a mind open, keeping it fertile, challenging it, and uh, going away from the kind of curriculum that uh, Dr. Singh alluded to right in the beginning, where you can have. Like Rabindranath Tagore years and years ago had the Vishwa Bharati concept in Shanti Niketan. Open learning and that kind of concept is not there. Unfortunately, we've been driven, molded into a kind of a um, um, type form uh, where we are all um, stereotypes uh, going through a process of livelihood. Of livelihood. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Aditya, you wanted to chip in. You wanted to add something. Just, just two bits here, sir. I think uh, uh, to Mandira's point that the subordinates think their managers is wrong. 
I think wrong here again connotes that we are not fitting into their mind, mental frame, right? It's not about right or wrong in terms of in totality. As long as you can you can make the message that uh, in a way that it actually fits into their thought process. One, two. As long as you can tell them what's in it for them if they were to follow what you're saying, and as long as it, as as long as you show that okay, even I am vulnerable, even I may not know it. Let's co-create it. I think they will definitely be uh, on their side. I have. I have a lot of uh, insight on the millennials that I work with, and I I have I have handled campus and cadre management at Tata Park. You know these youngsters who are born in the 2000s and you know even even later will not just accept anything that you tell them because they come with a challenger mindset. But as a new terminology that I'm, I'm trying to bring up, challenger mindset. I will I will first challenge you by why you're saying that. So I think I think as long as you are also in the frame of making your point and then maybe you know giving them the merits it's it's absolutely fine that they will agree to you back to you sir okay uh, i'm i'm absolutely mindful of the fact that it is 47 minutes past 6 o'clock uh, we are running against time uh, we wish we could continue this dialogue there are a lot of things which we uh, can debate amongst ourselves bharat and i know bharat is not happy with our answers and this debate can go on for next two hours, two hours but you know since time is limited let me uh, switch on to the next thing uh, it's not that learners don't learn they do learn they do uh, make progress it's not that subordinates are always wrong they also learn they also grow as a leader as a teacher as a coach as a mentor as a father how should i celebrate success of learning success my subordinate has achieved something he has learned something she has learned something is there a need is there a standard operating procedure are there cases of celebrating this learning this is something which i would like uh, pradeep and uh, aditya to build on because i am also aware of the fact that many a time when we celebrate success we celebrate the personality we do not celebrate the learning process i am just giving a hint aditya pradeep ji what comes to your mind? how to celebrate learning success बच्चे ने अच्छी पढ़ाई कर ली सबॉर्डिनेट ने एक अच्छा काम कर लिया हम कैसे उसको सेलिब्रेट करें सेलिब्रेशन की जरूरत है क्या पहली बात बिल्कुल है सर बिल्कुल है सेलिब्रेशन की जरूरत बिल्कुल है इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट द मूवी रिकॉग्नाइज द मूवी अप्रिशिएट वी ऑल हैव लर्न दोस थ्योरीज पीपल परफॉर्म बेटर बट हम सेलिब्रेट क्या कर रहे हैं अगर हम सेलिब्रेट कर रहे हैं सक्सेस एंड दैट इज आउटकम देन वी आर नॉट सेलिब्रेटिंग देन दैट्स जस्ट एन आउटकम ओरिएंटेशन सेलिब्रेशन अगर हम प्रोसेस सेलिब्रेट कर रहे हैं कि मेरे से गलती हो गई आई मेड अ मिस्टेक बट आई हैव लर्न एंड आई विल नॉट मेक द सेम मिस्टेक एंड देयरफॉर आई विल बी सक्सेसफुल इन फ्यूचर दैट इज टू बी सेलिब्रेटेड दैट्स पॉइंट नंबर 1 पॉइंट नंबर 2 सर इज दैट यू नो वी आल्सो मेक सेलिब्रेशन व्हिच इज व्हिच इज मे बी अ लिटिल बिट ऑफ अ फेक एंड जस्ट अ अ सेरेमोनियल सेलिब्रेशन क्या आप जेन्युइनली खुश हैं कि आज आपका एक कोचिंग या आपका एक यू नो यू नो जिसने आपके अंदर ट्रेनिंग की हो वो आज एक लेवल पे पहुंचा है क्या वो सेलिब्रेशन है आपके लिए सो यू नो वी हैव टू एंड 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 यू नो इन कॉर्पोरेट वर्ल्ड्स ऑल ऑफ दस दीस आर लीडर्स वी टॉक अबाउट हाउ मेनी आर इन आर यू नो फंक्शंस डन हाउ मेनी अवार्ड्स गिवन इज दैट द मेट्रिक यू शुड बी लुकिंग एट और वुड यू से दैट हाउ मेनी पीपल हैव वी एनेबल्ड टू परफॉर्म हाउ मेनी लाइव्स हैव बी चेंज्ड हाउ मेनी लेसंस हैव बी लर्न आई वाज जस्ट रीडिंग एन आर्टिकल ऑफ अगेन दिस वाज आई थिंक इन द एचपीआर दैट वी टॉक वी नेवर टॉक अबाउट हाउ मेनी फेलियर्स and we celebrate that if we had not failed we would have made a mistake somewhere else we have failed and therefore we have learned our lesson so hamara jo yardstick hai na sir wahi galat hai then the second point i want to make is that i think it's very important that we have periodic celebrations we must have instantaneous celebrations because as and when i i learn something we have a you know we we come and you know we sh- the the child in 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 a you know a toddler comes and says you know i have done this and the child shows and you say good job my my dear you know son or daughter wo hum corporates mein nahi kar rahe na hum word karte hain quarter 1 quarter 2 quarter 3 quarter 4 year end so i think i think it's important that again i would repeat we enjoy the process we celebrate the process and please for god sake we also have to celebrate if a person comes and owns up that i made a mistake at least the person is better than the one who's hiding it under the carpet and somebody else will find it some other time i think i'll thank pradeep ji here i think there are uh, right you're right aditya there are no such thing as mistakes you know when we talk about experiments have failed uh, if we go through go through history you will find that penicillin was discovered uh, by accident he wanted to actually 
promote bacteria, but he went around killing the bacteria. And then later, when they told him that you are a failure, they said, no, I've killed bacteria, I found penicillin. Similarly, Madame Curie, for example, she found radium purely by accident. She left it in the laboratory, came back in the middle of the night and found. So what we're saying over here is that we need to emphasize the strengths of our people and not go on talking about their uh, develop, only their development needs or their, I would say, yes, you must focus on development need, but don't talk about the critical thing. I would uh, give you an example here of a, from nature. If you take a honey bee, a honey bee goes from flower to flower, doesn't disturb the flower, it only takes the nectar and moves on. Now, if we are a honey bee, we will go from flower to flower, on, only look at the nectar. Don't disturb the person because everybody is different. Everybody is unique. On the other hand, you take a fly. A fly will not, it will escape all the flowers. It will avoid the flowers and only focus on filth, on garbage, on excreta. I mean, here's an example of, of in nature, that we should be more like honeybees and focus on the goodness in people. I, I, I find that um, by being, by being non-judgmental, by being non-prescriptive with coaches, I find that it's so useful that, um, that um, we can develop an element of trust in them. I think that's very important. Trust in trust. Wonderful, wonderful. Vimal, I would like to uh, invite you to make uh, some comment, uh, some observation on how to celebrate success. What happens in our organizations, in your organizations, for example, how do you celebrate success, learning success or growth success? Uh, I mean, would you like to share some quick examples very quickly? Sure. Uh, definitely, Dr. Singh. So uh, I, I buy the idea completely uh, with both our panelists, uh, Mr. Malik and Aditya here. Uh, if I see, I think it also depends on the stage of the maturity of the organization. Yeah. Uh, and the stage of your relationship at the same time, the kind of trust that you have built between a manager or a leader or a subordinate. Uh, so to start with, I think there can be a success of uh, outcome but eventually depending on your maturity and a relationship you can start celebrating the success not the outcome but each and every step which takes you to the outcome and if this is done i think we all we all can agree to this that if if the maturity is there we start celebrating these small steps and the process the outcome is going to be beautiful which in any case will get celebrated Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. It is 6.55. I am going to close. But before we close, I, I had many things to ask. But I'm mindful of the fact that it is 55 minutes past 6 o'clock. It is a Saturday. But before we sign off and before I ask Yashwan to share if there are any questions, I can see there are 24, 25 uh, chat box comments. Uh, Yashwant, you can share some of the questions or chat. But before that, two quick questions, rapid fire question, Pradeep, Aditya, Vimal. We have discussed for the last 40 odd minutes. If you have to summarize and if you have to tell me one or two or three words, what a capability builder, what a leader, what a parent should do to ensure that growth and learning mindset continues to happen. One or two words, what he or she should do. Very short answer. Enable, empower, enjoy. Pradeep. Clarity. Clarity of mind, clarity of thought, clarity of action. And clarity here stands for C is care, L is listen, Appreciate, respect, be insightful, be thoughtful, and have. Wow, wow, wow. Uh, uh, Pradeep, Pradeep, you should write in the chat box before we forget. You, 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 you should be the focus, not I focus. Pradeep, you have the chat box. Vimal, what should you do to growth and learning mindset? I think Short answer. 
दोनों पैनलिस्ट ने बहुत कुछ बता दिया मेरे हिसाब से आई थिंक क्यूरोसिटी लिसनिंग और जो चल रहा है ना uh, एक व्यक्ति को सुनते रहे uh, अपने सबॉर्डिनेट को या लीडर को आई थिंक दैट कम्युनिकेशन ओनली अनेबल्स द ग्रोथ माइंड सेट इज हाउ आई सी इंटरनेशनल कोचिंग फेडरेशन में सारे कोचेस को सिखाया जाता है कि लिसनिंग बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है लिसन mm-hmm. एक्टिवली अगर आप लीडर कोच मेंटर टीचर पेरेंट अगर उन लोगों ने सुनना से किया तो बहुत सारी बातें हो जाती हैं रिफ्लेक्ट करना सुनना अनफॉर्चुनेटली हमारे कॉलेजेस में हमारे विश्वविद्यालयों में हमारे ऑर्गेनाइजेशन में पब्लिक स्पीकिंग सिखाया जाता है लिसनिंग नहीं सिखाया जाता है विमल आपने बहुत अच्छी बात जी माई ओपिनियन it comes from humility if a person oh. has humility everything else follows okay wonderful uh, my final uh, rapid fire question what a capability builder leader teacher mentor should not do to ensure that learning and growth mindset happens should not do kya nahi karna chahiye don't reprimand for failure do not push and become directive let the person and you jointly identify the steps to be taken and identify the goal to be achieved as a capability leader vimal and then pradeep so the coach jo nahi karna chahiye wo ye ke mera agenda kya hai the coach to mera agenda success ka nahi ho sakta hai mere client ka ya mere subordinate ka ya mere bacche ka i think unka success hi mera success hai wo ek wow wonderful Wow! Wow! Pradeep, Ali, I think it is as I said, it is all about you focus, not I focus. When it is you focus, then we are focusing on the betterment, on the improvement, on the care for the other person, and that comes from some humility. It comes from a deep sense of gratitude and uh, desire to help somebody else. Wonderful! Wonderful! Pradeep, not, not transactional. It's not transactional. wonderful absolutely wonderful pradeep aditya vimal i could not have a better evening i am so happy that i learned so much from you absolutely brilliant uh, deliberation i walk out from this session after another 10 minutes lot more wiser before i uh, do that i invite yashwant to share if there are any questions if there are any comments if there is anything you would like to ask any one of us we will be very happy thank you very much yashwant dr singh uh, i will intervene for one second please yashwant, please one second you know i would request all the participant to give one uh, word or one line comment uh, their uh, take aways and you know learnings from uh, this wonderful session all the participants are requested to write in the chat box please thank you very much yashwant please carry on so sure, thank you so much uh, for that very insightful session uh, may i uh, you know invite uh, prithvi ma'am to take it uh, forward what would you as uh, it is it was such a wonderful session so many takeaways and um, thank you so much um, you know the entire panel panel members uh i would now request uh, mr dv shastri our um, vice chairperson istg delhi chapter to uh, you know summarize the session shastri sir yeah uh, thank you ma'am uh, thank you for inviting me as you rightly said it was uh, a great opportunity for learning this evening and listening to the the learned people and the veterans for expressing their thought and the best part was that it was moderated by dr vp singh so uh, i would like to summarize the key points, key points. the the fundamental idea which was said that uh, curiosity is the the fundamental thing for learning and growth and uh, we keep learning from our cradle uh, till grave uh, mr aditya sarin said that life is all about learning and it enables us to gain the perspective 
and uh, it is really applicable in practical life for example uh, if some person is there in an organization he or she specialized in some academic discipline but when we come to working in the organization we are not limited to a particular thing for example a mechanical engineer may be given the task of heading the entire maintenance team including instrumentation electrical and so on so that kind of mindset should be there because your academic uh, career or curriculum enables you to develop the perspective it, it does not uh, narrow down your vision rather it enables you to enhance it then uh, uh, growth is uh, a natural process and that's why in our uh, scriptures upanishads and bhagavad gita it is said eko ham bhavsyama that means growth is spontaneous if we talk in terms of physics the entropy of universe is always increasing then mr vimal malhotra also talked about the pda cycle that is plan do take and act that is uh, the fundamental premise for learning and growth and the most uh, important part which came out from the discussion is that the first thing in learning is that we should know that we don't know learning starts only when we we accept and appreciate that we are not knowing because the know it all approach is is like you know death i would say that uh, it is equivalent to death only so <clears throat> and then uh, important thing in the organizational context is that uh, instead of talking these uh, concepts should be demonstrated by the leaders and the professors in colleges and uh, one more important thing which was shared that the process is more important than only focusing on the outcome so one should enjoy the journey and self awareness about ignorance is very important to be a learner and that's why in our uh, indian system of puja when we do the kshama prarthana in the end we say avahanam na janami na jana visarjanam pujam chaiva na janami kshama swa parmeshwara so that is surrender to the god saying that i don't know how to worship you but whatever little i know i have offered it to you and that enables us to uh, have a sense of humility and again in in humility is again a precondition for learning and that is why chanakya also said that everybody wants pleasure and for pleasure uh, we have to have humility vinayasya moolam vriddhop seva that means learn from others through humility by asking genuine questions and enlighten yourself and uh importance of self talk was also highlighted by the speakers because we should keep introspecting and only through introspection we come to know how little we know and that is really where the real learning and growth starts uh finally uh, somebody asked a question about how to align the mindset of subordinates so here i would like to mention that nothing is right or wrong there is no question of correcting somebody because any anything or any decision is a product of desh kal and paristhiti desh means location kal is timing and paristhiti is situation so whatever is appropriate now may not be appropriate tomorrow or it it might not have been appropriate yesterday so we have to take our learnings and decision and the path of growth depending on desh kal and paristhiti and finally uh, a wonderful uh, discussion came about how to celebrate learning because that is very important we keep focus only on the tangibles or the the results but we forget to enjoy the journey and enjoy the uh, the little little successes and learning so therefore it is important uh, in the context of organization for the leaders to inculcate a culture in which learning is encouraged and celebrated and uh, um, the example of honey bee was also given 
वो तरह तरह के फूलों पे जाती है लेकिन वो वहां से शहद ही इकट्ठा करती है और इसलिए ज्ञान जो प्राप्त करने की बात होती है उसमें ये कहते हैं कि बहुत सी चीज दुनिया में दुनिया में है लेकिन सार सार को गही रहे थोथा दही उड़ाए दैट इज द क्रक्स जहां से जो हमें अच्छा मिले उसको हमें ग्रहण करना चाहिए तो इट वॉज रियली वंडरफुल सेशन वन लाइनर्स भी बहुत अच्छे आए एनेबल एम्पावर एंजॉय then clarity of mind thought and action then uh, developing attitude of appreciating others respecting being insightful developing curiosity listening actively uh, powerful communication and so on and finally nothing there is nothing like failure it is only either you get your uh, deliverables or you learn so really thank each one of the panelist and uh, moderator dr vp singh and over to yashwant thank you very much shashi sir bahut beautifully aapne summarize kiya puri discussion ko thank you so much now in the end i would request uh, mr rajin sinha to give a vote of thanks to the panelist dhanyawad hamara kafi kuch kaam डॉक्टर शास्त्री ने ऑलरेडी कर दिया है और जैसे कहते हैं समय बड़ा बलवान है तो समय को ध्यान में रखते हुए हम शॉर्ट में दो शब्द कहेंगे फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इन ऑनर ऑफ दोज हु हैव लिसन टू ऑन ऑन दिस ज़ूम एज वेल एज ऑन यूट्यूब क्योंकि जो सुनते हैं वही वंदनीय है, सबसे पहले है उसके बाद जो ज्ञान हम लोगों को मिला डॉक्टर सिंह से और प्रदीप जी से और सरीन जी से और मनोत्रा जी से वो भी इट्स इट्स ग्रेट एंड आई हैव पर्सनली गेन एंड आई होप दैट आवर कलीग्स एंड पार्टिसिपेंट्स आल्सो हैव गेन और हैव कंफर्म देयर एग्जिस्टिंग बिलीव्स बिकॉज लर्निंग इज नॉट ओनली नोइंग न्यू थिंग्स बट आल्सो एग्जिस्टिंग परस्पेक्टिव्स thank you very much and on behalf of uh, acn and istd and nipm i once again thank everybody thank you thank you thank you so much everyone for a great great session uh, i think a big round of applause for everyone thank, thank you. you thank you thank you very much thank you everyone thank you thank you thank you wonderful session prakal singh sir thank you thank you thank you dr singh thank you thank you thank you thank you ji thank you yashwant for organizing everything dr singh thank you very much for giving us this opportunity and i am sure we'll do more such programs in future thank you thank you thank you thank you to kannal lamba from jaipur good evening mukesh sir thank you so much thank you sir and thank you all my seniors and colleagues for joining this wonderful session enjoy i'm sure you have a lot of insights and learnings uh, out yeah, of this yeah. uh, very learned uh, speakers um, uh, here so thank you uh, shastri sir thank you uh, rajan sir uh, for organizing everything thank you alok ji thank you prithima madam for uh, all the support namaskar thank you very thank much you. thank you 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 thank